Hello, everyone. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. We really appreciate you taking the time to watch us for another installment of the morning meeting. So one of the big things we're always talking about is how to how to use strategy to help grow your business. You know, how how is it that no, it's not just as simple as, you know, what to do? It's what do you do with the information once you have it? And that, that's really the difference between having a tactical approach and a strategic approach. So before we get started with today's guest, uh, we're, we just want to remind everyone that we are, we are holding a territory optimization masterclass. And if you want to check out any other upcoming trainings that we have, please visit us at thebrionisgroup.com slash accelerate for our home care accelerator training programs. All right, so now back to the back to business. So one of the key things that when it comes, especially if you are a newer home care agency, you're trying to figure out where to put your office. Office location is so incredibly important. You know, there's a lot of things to keep in mind. Where do your clients live? Where do your caregivers live? What sort of information is there around you? Where are you in location and in relation to the facilities, to who's moving in and out? How are you going to optimize all of this? So joining us today is Ty Brewster from Locate. They, are, they provide a wonderful service and they will actually help you find your ideal location anywhere in the U.S., Thank you, Ty, for joining us. And you know, before we get started, and tell us a little bit about yourself and about what you do. Excellent. Thank you for having me. So uh, I am uh, out of Phoenix, Arizona. I've got a team of uh, five brokers on my immediate team. Uh, work with Locate. We are commercial real estate agents. Uh, essentially, my focus is the franchising space and helping franchise brands, franchisees around the country to identify space and negotiate uh, leases, uh, get uh, long-term leases in place for them to be able to run their business, whether it be a restaurant, uh, uh, senior care facility, or a service brand uh, like a massage uh, location. So uh, we also are part of Locate, which is a technology company. Uh, we track about 300 million cell phones around the country. Uh, we consolidate that data into our system to provide at no cost to our clients uh, so that they can make better decisions about that real estate. Obviously, as you get into uh, looking for the right space, it's location, location, location. So mm -hmm. my role is to provide my clients as much information as possible so that they, they can make that decision properly the first time. Obviously, if you make a bad decision on your location, that can be a very expensive uh, uh, project to adjust or to move. Uh, so we really want our clients to make that decision one time and then uh, receive the results and benefits of that uh, for the long term, as opposed to having to make an adjustment after five years, that can be very costly. Right, yeah, that, that could actually hurt you on a number of different levels. You know, just from um, from, you know, like my perspective, uh, I've had to work with clients in the past that have had to move locations, you know, midway through through an operation. You know, longevity for most of these franchise contracts in particular are about 10 years yeah. They have to move three to five years in because you made a bad choice. It's devastating. It hurts your SEO. It hurts your credibility in the community. I mean, especially when we're talking about, you know, this industry in particular, senior care. Your caregivers can't find you if you're jumping location. You lose yeah. faith in them. No caregivers, no clients. I mean, that's just really what it comes down to. Well, so, and even at the bottom line, money-wise, it costs you a lot of money to set up your facility. It is not free. Yes. You've got to go in and you've got to put up walls. You've got to change out flooring. Yep. You've got to set up uh, you know, your, uh, uh, yeah, your IT compliance and all of those yeah. things. That that's not uh, inexpensive, and no. to do that at, when you start your business, generally you you're ready to invest that. But if you're four years into a bad lease, you've been bleeding a little bit of money, maybe not making what you want. Yeah. Uh, now you're having to outlay another uh, X number of dollars 
yeah. again, that, that can be real devastating and could potentially cost you your business overall. Right. And in some states, especially when we're talking about the senior care industry, relocating a senior care business, it can cost you your licensing. Yeah. I actually had a client down in Texas, uh, in San Antonio, a number of years ago, changed offices and didn't inform the state, didn't realize that this was the right way to do it. Yeah. State showed up at his original location, you know, ended up violating him, giving him all sorts of fines, and he ended up having to close. Yeah, um, yeah definitely location plays a big part big, big part in where it is. So how, you know, you mentioned that you, you guys use cell phone data in order to help optimize this. How does that work exactly? Like what, what is it that you're collecting in order to help people make these all important decisions and how do you apply it when you're working with a client? Yeah. So we're working with the apps generally on your phone. So an app, like let's, you know, just bring up a Waze, for example, right. Waze is tracking that phone or, or else you really can't use the service right i mean it's right. telling you where traffic is going to be you know it's telling you where to go here and there so they will then sell that location data we would then take that uh cell phone we know for example based on the movement of that cell phone where that cell phone sleeps at night we know where that cell phone works during the day uh, we know where that cell phone's sitting at lunch for an hour at Chipotle or whatever you, the case yeah. may be. Uh, so we can then take that cell phone and break that down and identify that cell phone in one of 67 different psychographic categories. So maybe yeah. that cell phone is owned by a soccer mom. Well, how do we know it's a soccer mom? Well, again, we, we have that information about where that cell phone is moving, where it, what neighborhood it lives in, those types of things. And then we can show you as a client, uh, if you are running uh, a location where uh, your customer base is mostly soccer moms, mm -hmm. where are those soccer moms driving? Where, what buildings are those soccer moms going in within Raleigh, North Carolina? Are they up in the Wake Forest area? Are they down uh, by the university? Uh, and we can show you exactly who is driving around in those streets so that uh, you can get in front of your customer and be where your customer or your employees uh, are already traveling. So oh, that's make awesome. Make sure that you're in a, the right position. So basically, um, let, let me see if I understood this right. So if we have a good solid conversation, okay, and I'm trying to tell you the, the, the demographic data or some of the information that what makes a typical caregiver? We can actually, you can help me plan out exactly where to place my office that would be a prime spot for recruitment and retention of my, of my client, of my caregivers, so I can better service my clients. That's absolutely right. We, we can That's do as fantastic. much as uh, if you gave me, for example, uh, 50 offices and you said, okay, these are my 50 offices around the country. Mm -hmm. I can geofence or create a geographic a digital boundary around each of those buildings. Right. And I can tell you who is going into those buildings at certain times of the day, as far as their psychographic category. I can't right. tell you it's Ty Brewster, but right. I can tell you it's an old guy about 54 years old and he's kind of short and he lives in Phoenix. <laughs> right. I, I can, I can tell yeah. you a number of things about my, me right. based on how my cell phone moves. And right. then we can make sure that your office or your facility is in a place where it's generally accessible to those individuals that you're going to be needing for that business, whether that be a restaurant, a care facility, an office right. for your business, however uh, you want to do that. And we would work with you and our technology partners to create a model to better understand where those right. folks are that you need to be in front of. And that's awesome. And then now, once we've gone and done this and we've said, okay, well, this is fantastic. This is kind of where I want to be. That's, that's when you guys step in and start working with us to try to find the ideal location for either our, our assisted living or our home care agency, whatever it is that we're trying to open, you know, or Pizza Hut, it doesn't really make a difference, but whatever it is. 
and your team comes in and helps us pick it out, go talk, negotiate the lease, find a suitable terms, three year, five year, 10 year lease. So this way we're not scrambling in a short Give amount of time. a little tenant improvement allowance to maybe put up some walls where you want walls. Maybe the bathroom's right. not in good shape. You need to fix right. or, uh, Yeah, we, for the BHIPAA we, compliant, that whole thing. That's correct. Yeah. We would negotiate some free rent so that you can uh, you know, get built out or open your center without uh, having to pay that rent, maybe three, four months, five months, six months of rent as you open that business so that you're not having to pay for setting up your space at the same time you're paying right. that rent. Yeah. Minimize that bleed. Yeah. That's correct. That's amazing. That's, that's an amazing service. So now what, what created this passion for you to do this? Like, you know, like what, what makes Ty Brewster go out and want to help people in this particular way? Yeah. So I have been, uh, in and around the industry for a while. So I started about 10 years ago. I had a friend who was in the industry uh, and his role was working with the Cold Stone Creamery Group, helping them to grow around the country. Mm -hmm. And uh, I liked what he was doing. Uh, I is a good friend of mine. Uh, and I left the industry that I was in. I was working as a computer programmer uh, mm -hmm. at Charles Schwab. And, you know, I... I don't know, had that uh, ceiling there where it's, you know, look, if you're not going to move to San Francisco, you're kind of yeah. capped out on, on what you're going to be doing unless you move into corporate, uh, right. the corporate entity. Yeah. And uh, this was something where uh, I could create my own path. I would run my own business, uh, but also be able to serve people all around the country and have a little something new and different every day, right? I mean, one day right. I'm working yeah. in San Antonio, the next day, I'm thinking about Raleigh, North Carolina, and the next day, I'm I'm talking to somebody in Ankeny, Iowa. So it's fun to be able to, you know, have a new place of business every morning when I wake up and and think about okay, how do I maximize this person's value in this area of the country, and how do I solve problems uh, to help my clients? And uh, the beauty is. You know, we're able to do this at no cost for our clients. We've got a system in the U.S. where landlords will pay a fee for us to do this. And so that's awesome. To your, you know, when you buy a home, you don't pay your broker. Your broker gets paid by the seller of that property. Uh, we do the same thing in commercial real estate, and uh, it's it's been a great uh, move for me. I uh, really love what I do, and. Mm -hmm. uh, being part of the franchise community, I, I spend a lot of time and effort working within the International Franchise Association. I'm on the, the membership committee with them. And awesome. that's been a great relationship as well. Just getting to know all of the, the great people in the community and doing what I can to serve them. Yeah, no, that's that's great. Now, um, you, you've mentioned your involvement in franchising, but now let's say because, you know, Part of the people that watch watch our our lives, they're not always, you know, because we're associated with a couple of you know different franchisors. We've worked with them, but we also um, work real close with groups like the Independent Home Care Alliance and a couple of other non franchise organizations. Now, if someone watching this, it's just really they they're ready to go, they're ready to get that first space, and they're not part of a franchise. Would they be able to get a hold of problem. you? No problem. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, look, at the end of the day, we're here to serve individuals who need space. That's right. our role. Right. Uh, the franchising tie in makes it easier for me mm -hmm. to meet somebody who's in Ankeny, Iowa, right? Because of that franchising. But if somebody approaches me from St. Louis, Missouri, and they want my help, and they're not tied into a franchise, that's, that's no problem as well. I'm just I'm here to help. Uh, franchise just gives me uh, a yeah. clean entry to right. get involved with folks. But uh, again, I'm, I'm just happy to help anybody who's looking for space and again, do it at, at no cost. So uh, my role is to give you as much data as I can to help you to make the right decision and then uh, you know, support that negotiation to get you the best deal possible. That's awesome. That's, that's really an incredible service that you guys have put together. And especially to be able to do this nationally like this, that's fantastic. You know, there's, uh, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people watching this will 
definitely a benefit from understanding, you know, that there is more than just, you know, go out there, open up, open up a truly and hope for the best. Yeah, you exactly know? right. Yeah. Look on loop net and, and yeah, uh, call yeah. the person he never calls you back. And so you go with yep. the, the yeah. fifth one oh. you called because that's the only one you got to call back from. Yeah. Well, yeah, that I, I'm going to tell you <laughs> in all honesty, I wish I would have known, known uh, you guys existed a couple of years ago um, when I was more heavily involved in the franchising world. Uh, the, a service like this is just fantastic, you know, and direct support means not, um, you know, but yeah, um, like I said, it's great. We uh, will be putting up all of your information, anyone who's interested in getting hold of, uh, of Ty and his, the team over at Locate. We will have websites, phone numbers, anything that you need to get a hold of them. And let me tell you, this is uh, now a second or third conversation I have with Ty. Fantastic resource. Absolutely. You know, thank you so much for being on here and talking with us a little bit. Because, you know, the, the fact is, you know, we always say uh, one of our big company mottos is, you know, people build relationships and those relationships are what going to build your business. And having that, those relationships with the right team, that's what's going to help you get moving. Get, uh, get a hold of a good real estate agent. Make sure you're getting the right deal on your initial property. That real estate agent might also be connected with other people that can help your business. And it all becomes this big interconnected web. Talking to people like Ty, well, you know, it's just really going to be a benefit overall. As you know, uh, we discuss in our territory optimization class and other training programs that we do, understanding who's in your area, understanding where your office is in relation to your clients, to your caregivers, to the facilities that you're trying to service, it really makes a just monumental difference in the speed at which your business will grow. And it's great to have resources like Ty and the team over at Locate because uh, really getting that level of granular data to be able to make those decisions, well, well, believe me, you'll thank yourself later for doing it. You know, so thank you again, Ty, for coming on. And is there anything else you'd like to add? I mean, look, thank you for the work you do. I know uh, everybody who's going to be listening to this, you're in a passion-driven business. Uh, my wife uh, was a hospice nurse for many years. She ran a hospice company as a registered nurse. I know that it is a passion driven yes. process that you're in. You've got to really love it. And the service that you provide is, you know, from heaven. So thank you all for providing that service to the community. And we're just here to provide you as much value as we can uh, because uh, you need to be focused on the caregiving and focused on trying to make people's uh, lives better and not trying to deal with the landlord who's trying to squeeze an extra buck a foot out of you for the next five to 10 years. So yeah. uh, we are excited about uh, working with any of you that have the need. And uh, I appreciate your time. All right. Thank you again, Ty. And just uh, for those of you watching, if you're watching us live, you know, appreciate it. Leave us a comment below. Let us know what you think. Let us share some interesting stories of what sort of nightmares you might have had trying to find real estate, you know, trying to find that office. I can tell you, I'm sure we can go back and forth and talk about a ton of them. And if this is your first time watching us and you're watching us on the replay on YouTube or listening to the broadcast on iHeartRadio or any other podcast source, don't forget to give us a follow and give us a like. Thank you all for joining us and we'll catch you next time on the morning meeting.